I thought it would be interesting to do a quick tutorial about how to do screen recordings with Linux Mint. Uh, the simple screen recorder is the program I've found to use and uh, as you can see it's running to do this tutorial. So I can't really show you the settings because it's in the process of being used but I took some screenshots so let's look at those you can install this program from the software manager so software manager is here and just type in simple screen recorder so here's what the first screen looks like when you run the program and you can just hit continue there aren't any settings here and um, so here the first screen is the settings for the inputs the audio input and the video input I'm recording the entire screen uh, you can uh, and I'm also recording the cursor so you can follow me along here you want to probably record audio this setting this picture shows the settings that I'm using right now I've got a USB headset plugged in and and uh, I've set up the recording from the USB headset just setting this doesn't work you also need to go to the sound settings and on input choose the microphone from the USB headset as the input and then I had to increase the input volume as you can see here you can see what the input level is If you don't do the, if you leave this set to something else, you won't get any sound. Okay, so the next, then you do hit continue each time to move to the next settings panel of Simple Screen Recorder. Here's an example of recording the normal input. Um, say you're playing a game or some something that is generating its own sound and you want to record the sound the system sound so you want to choose monitor of and then usually audio analog stereo or whatever is chosen in the sound settings for output right so in this case analog output has was chosen here in output and so you'll want to choose monitor of built-in audio analog and then if you uh, hit continue at that point in the program you get to choose where the video file is saved and what format it's saved I'm using an mp4 container h264 and you get lots of choices with the audio codec but I believe AAC is most standard I did have a problem where I happened to have chosen OGG and then took this file to a Windows system. The video land player would play the, the video with sound. However, a video editor on that Windows system couldn't decode the OGG so if you want the videos to be compatible across systems you'll want to choose 
these carefully and do some testing to make sure that you can open your uh, files uh, and get both video and sound. So once you choose these and the destination file, then the next option uh, is, let me bring it up, I can show you the program itself at this point. There'll be a red button here that says we're recording and um, that also shows up down here at the bottom on your task taskbar in the notifications area. You'll hit control or whatever hotkey you've selected. The default is control R and um, the recording will start. When you're done you hit it again control R or uh, click this button to turn off recording and then be sure and hit save recording down here at the bottom. If you don't do that I, I believe it doesn't add the correct trailer to the file uh, so it may not be uh, you may not be able to open the file in uh, video editors. So that's all there is. Enjoy.